hidden newspaper article clipped and tape hidden inside the envelope. Oh my god. A lot of text. I don't like text. Rumors lead to questions about controversy by Harrison Berman. In the past week, rumors have swirled about the discovery of a cabin built deep in the, uh, within the woods of our town. On Thursday, March 28, a local resident, who remains unnamed as of yet, allegedly discovered what appeared to be the beginnings of a construction occurring somewhere out in the woods, on their way to a local farm. Up until now, it's been unknown whatever this rumor account was legitimate or just another case of a small town talk. However, this past week we decided to investigate these claims. Hours af after trudging up the mountainside on the west side of the forest, we were able to find that things were not quite what they seem. To our disbelief, we found a fully constructed cabin, and it was not just a hunting shack in the woods, as we expected. Several miles deep into the woods lies an intriguing, intriguingly made home, however we could not find anyone on the premise. All the w uh, windows appear to have uh, curtain hanging and f hiding the indoors, leading us be to believe someone, something was not right about this supposed residence. More so than just its location. No records has been filed with the state or town on the existence of this property. Residents are left wondering why the local police haven't followed up on the lack of property deeds and, of course, of whom the land belongs to. They are now left wondering what the town is going to do about it, considering no action has been taken as of yet. Some residents argue it's uh, it the prob town property and it should be taken down for being on public property with no, with no permits. It will be uh, interesting to see what happens rega regarding this issue and well kept you informed on further developments as we found out about them. There's an exhibit scrabbled on the back of the sheet. To protect my family and name, I chose to bury my father's insanity deep underground. Under his wonderful eyes. Repeat this verse. Huh. To protect my family and name, I chose to bury my father's deep insanity deep underground. Under his wonderful eyes. Repeat this verse. my family name, I choose to bury my father's insanity deep underground, under his watchful eyes. Repeat this verse. Ow! Goddamn dogs! Bloody dogs. Okay, I'm guessing I need to find the key uh, under the eyes. Come on, doggy. F off. I'm busy here. You're pissing me off. <laughs> Come on, leave your master. Get over here. Gonna smash you to bits. <laughs> stupid dog. Yeah, it's a stupid dog. Yes, you are a stupid dog. Oh, you're such a stupid dog. Give yourself a hernia, will you? There you go. Come over here. Huh? I meant to say something, didn't I? Come on. Hey, you stupid man, over here. Can we stop bashing the door, he doesn't deserve that. Okay, gotta run. Okay, there we go, now I can at least... Get some rest here, okay. Under his watchful eyes. Hmm. What is he looking at then? 
this way, but... I don't know why I'm keeping in this house. Keeping in this house. If it were up to me, I would be longer. I'm guessing it needs to, has to do something about that uh, latch in the cellar. But I don't see what they're playing at. my family name, I choose to bury my father's insanity deep underground, under his watchful eyes. Repeat this verse. Okay. A couple of things I don't get. Under his eyes. Yeah. Fireplace. At, uh... Turret. Besides that, To protect my family name, I choose to bury my father's insanity deep underground. Under his watchful eyes, repeat this verse. To protect my family name, I choose to bury my father's insanity deep underground. Under his watchful eyes, repeat this verse. Oh! Repeat this first! No? I thought I need to... Hold on. Oh god, this is gonna take me a while. Okay. To protect my family name, I choose to bury my father's insanity deep underground. Under his watchful eyes, repeat this verse. only three keys, but... To protect my family name, I choose to bury my father's insanity deep underground. Under his watchful eyes, repeat this verse. Bum, bum. Three notes, right? Ugh. To protect my family name, I choose to bury my father's insanity deep underground. Under his watchful eyes, repeat this verse. Thank you. 
saci. Whoa! I did it! I did it! Um... What did I do? Oh, maybe the painting. Nope. Well, what the hell was this watchful eyes, then? I'm guessing it's an indicator to... the... Doggy still here? Indication of where which piano you had to do. There we go. I made a mess with this place. There we go. Come on, let me in. There we go. I don't like this place. make this hole big enough with a hammer or a mallet. I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna keep playing till I uh, figure this one out because I'm guessing I'm near the end now. <laughs> I'm hoping actually. But it can't be that much longer now. So I found all the cassettes. He actually said get out of here. I'm not... Uh, reading between the lines, so to speak. And I need a hammer. Hammer time, motherfuckers. Please don't let the die a doggy over here. No, that will come in handy. Wouldn't be amnesia without a good old mallet. It's hammer time! Hammer time? There we go. Going down. Ooh, another level! I'll be darned. Okay. Kinda anxious on what lies awake down here. Um, uh, uh, judging from the the whole. Oh, ow! Shit! If one of if I want to get back up there, I need to find another way to reach that hole. These roots are too weak. I'm guessing from judging from what I've seen before. Uh, I don't think they're gonna put like the, the real amnesia monsters in here. Then again, I could be just taking... Holy shit, dude. Okay, this is getting creepy. Nice jump scare there. He swallowed the fucking or the 
No, not the thing, the poop. I uh, the, the poop. I need the poop. Sorry, <laughs> he swallowed the pooping thing. He said he took a hand pass a few days ago, so the master key is long gone. We're gonna need to find a different way to get out of here. This pooping guy, I can't believe he got funding for this. The paranoid pooper is actually hiring us to protect him from the Japs when the damn war was long over. Then he trapped us all down here with him and he swallowed the master key and then flushed it. Well, that sucks. These doors are too sturdy to bust down unless you want to wait 50 years for them to fall apart. At any rate, I'm writing this because I have no idea what's going uh, to happen here. The lads, lads are belting up to get out of here now that we've done in Edward. Poor bastard went mad with paranoia, nearly cost us our lives. Not worth it, if you ask me. PFC Duggetry. God, it makes sense now. This mutilated body belongs to uh, Edward Sinclair, who was stuck with paranoia after World War II and used his government connections to build his this bunker underneath the lounge. Apparently, the soldiers he hired to protect him turned on him. I don't blame them. The poor bastard trapped him here to their demise. That's kind of dark, that buddy. Do you guys have any painkillers in here? Because that would be a lovely. The ambient noises changed a whole lot. Um, yeah, you know what, guys? I'm gonna cut it here. I don't know if I'm very close to the end. I'm gonna play straight after this, so if it's near the end, I'll uh, put it back on uh, this episode. But as for now, I'm gonna say bye bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like me, seeing, please subscribe to my channel to keep up to date. Add it to your favorites if you really enjoy it. Leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll be very grateful. I'll see you all in the next episode.